Hi, I'm Mike Stanson. I'm here with Todd Tomic, the head of BAM's West Coast Region and Public Finance. We're here to talk for a Credit Insights video about the Oxnard School District's upcoming sale of approximately $78 million of bonds. The bonds we rated AA with a stable outlook due to Build America's Mutuals Guarantee and carry an underlying rating of A plus from Standard & Poor's Global Ratings. Todd, thanks for taking some time today. It's good to be here, Mike. These bonds were approved by voters uh, just last November. This is the first tranche of a larger capital investment plan by the school district. What does it mean for the security that they were voter approved? Well, first of all, there's uh, strong local support for the school district in Oxnard. Uh, over the past uh, 15 years, there have been several bond authorizations approved by voters. Uh, this uh, series is issued under a uh, election of 2022. Uh, it was called Measure I where uh, more than 55% uh, of voters within the district approve the issuance of these bonds to finance a, um, a large set of improvement projects within the district. The uh, authorization allows the district to issue uh, unlimited ad valorem property tax bonds. Uh, the uh, source of repayment is property taxes uh, that are levied without rate um, without a limit of rate or amount and the county levies the tax and collects the tax um, and uh, we we view that uh, security structure uh, very positively um, and sometimes it's referred to as a lockbox security structure because the property taxes uh, really uh, stay within the county and get paid directly to the bond trustee. So when you're looking at the adequacy of the ability to pay those property taxes uh, beyond the, the uh, legal protection, you're also looking at the affordability and the capacity to generate those revenues. What kind of indicators were you looking at? What did you find? Well, the main thing that I'm focused on here is the, the district's tax base, the assessed valuation within the district here is nearly $16 billion. The long-term uh, compounded annual growth rate over 15 or 20 years uh, exceeds uh, 3 or 4%. Um, uh, the, the stability and the durability of that, uh, that tax base is uh, the first thing that I'm looking at. The second thing that I'm focused on is uh, taxpayer diversity. Um, and again, here you see a great deal of diversity with no uh, single taxpayer or group of taxpayers really uh, paying a meaningful amount um, that would uh, create any concentration. Um, so uh, the size of the tax base uh, the, the, the positive trend in values and the uh, diversity of the taxpayer base is, is paramount to the security structure. And as you said, these bonds are a step removed from the operations of the district, but yeah, you did take a look at the operations and some of the, the fiscal side indicators. What did you learn? The last couple of years, uh, the district has had positive financial operations uh, with uh, general fund reserves bolstered to uh, very healthy levels, uh, even uh, looking forward to uh, projected interim numbers for fiscal 23. We also saw balance operations. Um, as you said, uh, it's not the primary focus of our analysis, but it's important to keep uh, the financial operations in mind. Um, the major uh, factor that contributes to the um, um, the stability of the finances is the district's ability to sort of manage uh, the expenditure side as uh, their vol the uh, enrollment and ADA, the average daily attendance of the district uh, varies over time. And this district has managed quite well uh, despite a, a slight negative trend in the enrollment over time. Great. Well, thanks for your time today and thanks for those insights. Uh, again, uh, BAM's credit committee voted unanimously to approve this credit and a BAM credit profile is available on our website with more details about the uh, financial data behind this discussion. Thanks uh, for joining us and have a great day. Thanks, Mike.